So, as we all know, the bank truck robbery has been in the game for about a week now, and we all kind of got to, like, experience and experiment with the robbery and just see how good it is, and... Um, I bet, um, I've robbed it, like, at least two or three times, definitely on camera, and I've robbed it, uh, probably about once, I think it was yesterday when I robbed it in a public server to see how that is, and I bet a lot of us that robbed this robbery have mixed feelings about it, like, there are some stuff that could be improved with this robbery, so, in today's video, I'm just gonna give, like, uh, some ideas of what a CMO could maybe do to kinda tweak, kinda improve this robbery, can kinda make it a bit more fair for all the players, but still keeping the main idea of, um, having it involve, like, both the teams and having it kind of being a challenging robbery, so, anyways, let's begin. Number one, move the spawning location of the truck. So, Asimo, why does the truck need to spawn here at the bank? Like, <laughs> uh, as you saw in username's video, every time the truck opens for a robbery and when the police hop in, everyone gets so out of control, especially in public servers. Like, everyone just, like, crowds around. Like, there's trolls, hackers even. Like, everyone just crowds around with their vehicles blocking the truck and the truck can't even like get out of its garage also the bank is a pretty popular location in the map and i feel like everyone's over here so so asimo i recommend that you move this whole truck spawning area to a totally different location in the map like there's so many other locations you could move the truck spawning point to and just like move the truck spawning area to maybe like a remote area in the map that no one really goes to just to like give it an actual purpose of being there because no one no one's really gonna hang out around here so give these areas over here that no one really goes to an actual purpose instead of being just remote hide and seek areas pretty much but yeah maybe you could have the truck spawn like maybe here by the fbi base maybe add like a separate bank base for the truck to spawn and i'll talk about that in a minute but yeah you could have the truck like spawn down these roads here over here by the airport and i got the perfect idea of what a simo could do maybe you could still keep this area a racetrack but here's what you could do a simo just make this into a road instead of like a dirt path just make this racetrack into like an actual road that goes all the way up here can kind of loop around this area up the mountain kind of like it does with the museum like just add a rope that kind of loops around up here kind of a uh, a little bit of a steep hill i guess but yeah just add a road that leads all the way up here and what you should do is simo is just add a uh, like a small version of a bank up here ju just to accommodate the the bank truck so what i'm trying to say is up there you could build like a small police bank base just to accommodate the truck like basically the size of this police base over here like you'll have a garage that takes up like half the building over here just to have the truck in like and the other half of the building just have like a small bank vault just to fill up the truck and maybe have like a police spawning point over here and yeah it would just um add like another spawning point for police because i don't think police have much places to spawn so i think it's about time police have another place to spawn so and what would happen is the building would be up here as i said maybe build like kind of a security area around here maybe like a fence just so no one like crowds around the truck when the truck is ready to go and yeah i think it's just a good idea for the um small bank to spawn up here like no one really is into going up here so yeah give up here an actual purpose of being here there's plenty of room so yeah asimo first idea just make a small building up here like the size of that police base down there just to accommodate the truck and like a small vault for the truck to fill up money with and just don't have that vault like a robbery just um have the building just have a purpose of like a police spawn area and where the truck leaves from so yeah basically the bank truck spawning area just so no one really trolls too much up here so yeah um just add like a, a small bank practically up here so uh yeah and it and the truck just carries on how it's supposed to be when when it leaves the uh small building number two make the robbery a lot easier to start like i understand this robbery is supposed to be like challenging and like um don't get me wrong as i said at the start of the video i'm f i'm totally fine with this robbery involving both teams like that's basically the point of this robbery but make it a little bit easier in some ways with still involving the main idea of the robbery like it in involves both the teams so here's here's one um that i think should be improved 
look like um yeah when i click enter driver uh, make it so you do not need to arrest quite 25 players just to start the robbery and not only that but you need to arrest 25 criminals every time you rob this even if you're in the same server at the same time so asimo maybe narrow it down to maybe 10 criminals just um, make it so you have to only uh, rob 10 criminals at, at the minimum just to rob, just to rob this truck. So I think, because I think 25 is a little too much, like, um, cause obviously there's going to be some players that will just shoot you right away and you'll lose all your progress. So, uh, yeah, another big idea, just limit the amount of players you need to arrest every time you rob this. Cause I think that's just ridiculous. And that leads me to number three, which is the cop side of this new robbery. All right, on the cop side of things, so I have a few things that Asimo could maybe tweak with the cop side of this robbery. So, so please, Asimo, make the minimum amount of cops for this robbery just one, because, um, I mean, this robbery already involves more than one person. So, um, yeah, just, um, like, here, here's the thing, so... Maybe if there's, like, one cop in the server, or, yeah, just one um, person, player in the server that's a cop, then, yeah, make it so, uh, one is the minimum, um, amount of people that could do this robbery, but say if there's, like, maybe five or more cops in the server, may, um, that, that's when you could make it so two would be the mi minimum amount of, um, cops that could, um, start the robbery, but, yeah, I think, I think, um, it's just ridiculous that you need at least two two cops to be in the truck because i think one is enough especially in like vip servers or whatever server that doesn't really have much cops in it otherwise you you can't really do this robbery that easily like if if that's the case so um yeah the least thing you could do with simo is just make it so one is the minimum amount of cops that could uh start this robbery i mean you already have to do all that work but and another thing that a simo could maybe tweak with this robbery involving cops is you know how uh, when the cops just leave the leave the bank, obviously criminals are gonna come and probably try to rob this. So, what Asima should do instead of making it so cops could hop out right away and just like arrest that criminal right away and then get back in the vehicle, I think instead, I think Asima should give maybe a thirty second timer. Like, uh, they have to wait thirty seconds and just focus on driving. Like, wait. 30 seconds before they 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 could hop out and arrest that criminal because I think it's just uh, too hard for criminals um if if cops could just pop hop out of the truck and then arrest them right away so I think the minigun is is enough defense for this um so yeah what Asima should do is just um yeah make the robbery start as always and give the cops a 30 second timer before they could just hop out and arrest the criminal so give the criminals a little time a little chance to like bust the the truck open to uh yeah just uh rob this and then yeah as soon as thir the 30 seconds is up then then the cops could hop out and arrest the criminal so yeah that's what asimo could maybe do with the cops all right for number four now the criminal side of things so first of all i don't know if this is a bug or hard to patch but asimo maybe maybe make it a bit easier so you could actually knock the truck over with the cars because it's kind of even even when they're kind of running it's like hard to flip them over or like ba bash them and maybe add a like a crashing sound effect just so it sounds more cool just a little something you could do and also i don't really have much to say about criminals but another thing that could they could maybe do maybe when you're inside the truck a simo maybe you could like put a some kind of timer on the screen like maybe up here like put a timer on your screen because if there's like a lot of people crowded around in the truck it might be kind of hard to see the timer that's on the back of the truck so yeah just a little suggestion you could do it, um on the criminal side of things asimo for one make it a bit easier to flip over the trucks with your car with your vehicle or whatever vehicle you're in and maybe put a little timer in, uh, on your screen somewhere on your screen when you're just robbing it in the truck um just a little something you could do and finally for number five add more drop-offs for the truck around the map so yeah um this is actually a pretty big one um and i guarantee you guys asimo is probably going to do this probably the most out of all all these five suggestions i have for the robbery that they could maybe improve with the robbery but 
Um, they should definitely add more drop-off locations for the truck all around the map. I, um, as I said, I bet Asimo's going to do this, like, at some point. <laughs> but, um, uh, so we have about, I believe, four, four drop-offs um, around the town here. Like, one there, and I think a few over here. And we have one over here by the police station by the prison. And one over here at the airport. And I think I kind of missed this one when I reviewed the update in that other video, but there's actually another drop-off here at the FBI base. I think I missed this one, but I noticed it the other day. But, um, yeah, so total we got like seven drop-offs in the map. So I think Asimo should add a lot more um, drop-offs because Asimo said that um, you're given a random location to go to. And ran um, the word random it defines like way more than seven, so probably... <laughs> Uh, I think uh, there should be at least like 15 or 20 uh, drop-offs around the map. So there's so many other places you could add a drop-off. Like you could add one here at the museum. Like there's plenty of room. You could add one here at the power plant. And you could even add one maybe. Uh, actually it might be kind of stupid. But you could maybe add one up here at the high point. You could add one at the train station here. And the train could pick it up. The passenger train or whatever. And you could even add one here at the uh, Area 51 base. I'm actually surprised there's not one here. But whatever. You could even add a few around the city, because I don't think there's any drop-offs around the city. I checked every corner, but um, I guess it would be, I guess it makes sense, because, uh, yeah, if you were driving the truck, then you would only have to go a few blocks if there was one, one drop-off in the city, so that might be kind of stupid, but, um, yeah, you could add a drop-off at the gas station, too, like, there's plenty of room there, but, um, Anyways, so I think that does it for all the uh, little stuff they could maybe improve, um, um, but with still keeping the main idea of like involving both the teams and kind of a challenging robbery. So let me know what you guys think about these. Um, feel free if you guys disagree with anything or have any more uh, ideas of what they could improve with the robbery. Um, I'll be reading through your comments and... Um, just so you know guys, I'm gonna take a little vacation, so I probably won't upload for like two or three days, because, um, I'm gonna sleep over at my relative's house for a few nights, um, during this last week of, of winter break, so, um, I probably won't upload for like, uh, two days or so, but, um, tomorrow is my first day of that vacation, but I've pre-recorded a pretty special video that I'll try to upload tomorrow morning before I go. Um, I don't want to spoil it or anything, but, um, it's, uh, ranking every 2020 jailbreak update. So, yeah, look forward to that video, guys, and, yeah, I'll try my best to up have that uploaded by tomorrow. Not for sure, Bomb. Anyways, yeah, stay tuned, guys. I'll see you guys later.